Okay, athlete's foot tinea pedis is if you get a fungus on your foot. Let's talk about this. Dr. Myers, Dr. Derm, welcome aboard. Let me tell you about it. Where are you getting this from? Uh, from the gym, from somebody in your house in the shower. It's a very common thing. It's annoying, but the great thing is mostly it can be treated by over-the-counter products. So stuff that you can buy at the store, and there's a lot of them. Most of those products will work, but sometimes what happens is if these fail, it's usually not because the athlete's foot is resistant, though that can happen rarely. And it's more likely that it's um, it's some other type of fur, foot inflammation or foot dermatosis. Probably at that point you'd have to see a dermatologist or skin specialist to make sure. I mean, the athlete's foot's pretty easy. You know, there's sprays, there's creams, over the counter works great. It is so rare that you have to take an oral pill for just athlete's foot. So if you get it in the nails, when it's just onychomycosis, onychomycosis is almost always something that you need to take an oral medicine to treat. So the most common ones, trivenafine, trivenafine orally, um, which is Lamisil, has been out, gosh, it's over 15 years now, maybe 20 years, who knows. And it is an amazing medicine and it really helps. The problem is nails take forever to grow out. So you're taking it for three months is its on label time. Most of the time I'm extending that. So I'm doing often a little pulse one week per month of the oral terbenafine for the next three or four months, just to give a little more um, curate for the onychomycosis or nail fungus. Um, another thing that's, there is two topicals that have been created for nail fungus. They're not perfect, but they're great if you don't have um, any, if you can't take the oral medicine for some reason. So this oral pill, or lamisil or terbenafine, um, in very rare cases can cause inflammation of the liver. So we check labs once while doing this medicine. I do recall looking at the data and this is safer than Tylenol. So we don't do labs for Tylenol and um, Tylenol could cause liver damage in some rare patients. Fortunately, overall, Lamisil is very safe. Feel very confident in using it in essentially any patient who's likes. In some cases, I'll do off-label type of treatments where I'll only do pulse and so for like eight or nine months, We'll do one week on, three weeks off. And since the nail grows so slow, this can be a fairly effective treatment. So to avoid using oral products, or if the, knowing that the topical products weren't that good, there is some lasers and some um, that can be effective. The laser is basically targeting the yeast. So use a laser, kill the yeast, and eventually it grows out. Um, you have to do multiple treatments. Insurance isn't the best at covering it, but it is a possible way to treat it also. So that's toe fungus in a nutshell. Hope that helps. Go get those clear nails.